else I, on uh, paper anyway. The hand, the hands team was a bit disappointing. Obviously, yeah. you know, we had two, we had two guys that were untouched, and just regardless of whether we're winning by two scores or whether the game's on the line, we've got to have the same sense of urgency every time we put that mm -hmm. unit out there and going after the ball and being able to, you know, getting our, our alignments were fine. It's just reaction and sense of urgency, which, again, should never be an issue with that unit, but that's something we're going to continue to stress, continue to emphasize, and, and really work. Okay. Thank you. Mark, are you okay with his refusal of fair catch? It seems like he takes pride. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to take away his aggressiveness. I like the fact that he's fearless back there. I like, he tracks the ball extremely well, catches it extremely well. Uh, you know, we, we've got to do a better job slowing down those, those gunners and slowing down their, you know, the opponent's punt team. And then, like I said, if, if it's a safe punt or if we're, if we're going after a punt, he know, we're not holding up all of their guys. He needs to understand that situation and know just based on how long that ball is in the air, how deep that punt is. If he's going to have room, the one that he did bring back, um, you had a number of guys down there, which is the difference, I guess. Do you do right. anything different call wise, or they just do that one better? No, I mean, <laughs> just better execution. Right. And, you know, I think the fact that, that Coach Holgerson, you know, we talked we talked at halftime about getting our hands on guys, and there were still technique technique issues. Um, we subbed a couple different people in. Some people that were more fresh. Some people that uh, some people who weren't performing. We, we pulled out and put some new guys in. So we'll continue to take a look at that uh, today through Friday and into Saturday, and make sure we've got our best ten guys out there that are going to do the job. Do you have a rule for let it go or definitely fair catch it? Like Beating the 10, let it go? Or? Oh, in, in like a pooch situation, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. If it's a pooch situation, you put your heels at the 10, if the ball goes over your head, you, you sell it. Is a lot of that it's just when it's hard to simulate that kind of stuff in practice? Yeah. Um, it, it is difficult, and especially in that situation, being the first game, the fans, everything like that. Uh, but we've just got to you know, eliminate all distractions, really focus on what we're doing, and have Gary understand the situation, but we need more, more, more than that. We need more out of our guys up front. Last thing for me, uh, you know, you know, you talk to Billy John Young, one A, one B. Is that still kind of that situation, or, or is it Billy right now for time being? Well, I mean, it, it's Billy until there's a reason for it not to be Billy. I, I guess is probably the best way to say. Uh, we're really happy with his performance. Um, Kicked the ball well. Operation time was good. You know, location of the ball was good. We can we can still get better in that phase of putting it where we want to. But was really happy with him. Uh, you know, Nick Meadows, our snapper, did a great job. Had no issues there. And you know, Mike Molina had a, had a good day. A little bit better on on field goal PAT. He missed you know, missed a few kickoffs. It ended up a little short. But at the same time, five out of seven in the end zone was pretty good.